The Affirmative 12 Divine Codes are now available in Update 5.0, and with them comes a new batch of common manus you can buy. We'll be briefly going over all the available common manus to discuss which ones are worth taking, plus how to make the most out of them when you do a skill inherent. You can also use common manus for merges, so feel free to pick up any characters you want more copies of. First up is the 5 star common manus which costs 300 Ephemer 12 each. We have New Year's Takumi who has some okay fodder. You can borrow his Kagami Mochi Plus dagger which is essentially a slaying dagger that excites specials. However, you can get the same ability from Kazi's Barb Shuriken so this isn't exactly a super unique seasonal weapon. For his other skills, Takumi has Moomba as a special. He can then grab Attack and Res Bond 3 or Bow Breaker 3. Attack and Res Bond will probably be the most useful skill to get and maybe you can use it if you plan to grab Attack and Res Bond 4 in the future. Next is New Year's Levitine, who I would highly suggest you pick up. She does come with some really good skills like Earth Fire Bomb Plus, which grants plus 6 attack and defense to all allies when it activates. Her Kumade Plus staff not only has Fey on it, but it inflicts minus 5 attack and speed to the enemy with the highest defense. Bit of a weird combo, however, this will most likely target the enemy's main tank, and debuffing them is always nice. This is a great support staff since your healer does not need to fight to help the team out. You can also grab Rehabilitate Plus, however, Earth Fire Bomb Plus and Kumade Plus are both much rare. Now the big ticket skill for this batch of Ephemer is most certainly Wrathful Staff 3. This lets healers deal full damage and most commonly pairs with the Dazzling Staff Refine on the Staff Weapon. Very good skill for offensive healers but unfortunately if you get all three tiers you won't be able to get the plus versions of Earth Fire Bomb or the Kumade Staff. That said, Free Wrathful Staff is a good deal for anyone looking to build up an offensive healer and someone like Natasha who will demote soon has a good stat line for those type of builds. Now onto the 4 star common manuals, these cost 100 ephemera 12 each. First is Gwendolyn and at 4 star rarity you can actually grab 3 of her skills. If you get some prereqs from the other common units then you can get Escuchian, Dragback and Hone Armor. Not exactly a killer combo but if you want all 3 of them then by all means. At 5 stars you can then get the Killer Lance Plus which exploits specials and you do need to evolve it into the Sling Lance which just comes with more might. Honestly a pretty universal inheritable weapon. Next is Henry who at 4 stars offers Ignis and Green Tonebreaker. Ignis is fun for high defense units and if you need a specific green mage counter then Tonebreaker can help you out. At 5 stars Henry is still the only holder of the red raven tome so if you want to make a sweet raven tome build then you do need Henry. As for Defiant Defense 3 I would highly recommend using a brazen skill instead. Our third pick is Klein and he's probably the second most valuable common menu here. He comes with Deathblow 3 which is a great basic skill for the player phase damage and he has glaciers for high res units. At 5 stars you can get the Brave Bow Plus for double attacks and initiations and you can get Quick Repose 3 in full. Quick Repose 2 is enough for budget builds but if it's a unit you like using then I would say it's worth the extra 20,000 feathers. With the Brave Bow, Deathblow and Quick Repose, Klein is a really great unit to have multiple copies of. Fourth is Chad and he has Drawback and Speed Smoke at 4 stars. If you want Speed Debuffs then Chad is the unit you want to get and an AoE minus 7 Speed Debuff can really turn a battle around. At 5 stars Chad has the Rogue Dagger and I've listed its upgraded effect once you refine it. After combat you inflict minus 6 defense and res in an AoE and you buff yourself and allies with plus 6 defense and res. Kind of a funky weapon but with something like Attack Smoke you can create one annoying trap for the enemy. You can also get Escape Route 3 but that can be gotten from 4 stars Cecilia instead. Last is Boss Mad Bross. At 4 stars he has Smite which does have its uses. As for Fire Boost 3, it can work if you want extra attack for both phases at the start of a battle but taking any damage starts to lower your chances of activating it and it's very useless in high end PvE content since the enemies have such high HP. At 5 stars Bross does have the Brave Axe which is fine but the new Ninja Master Card Plus Axes are just really fun alternatives. Last there is the Threatened Defense 3 but that can be gotten elsewhere. If you are looking for a newer axe infantry unit to plus 10 merge, Ross is definitely a good choice so perhaps he is worth getting as well. It's gonna be it for December's batch of reframing units, I'd say Free Wrathful Staff is quite the Christmas present so definitely do get those divine codes from all the events. When we get to next year, I wonder if the ephemer is gonna change to ephemer 1 to keep matching the month because we didn't start with 1 when it was first introduced. Overall, I'd say this system has been a great addition to the game. Hopefully when we get to one year with divine codes, then they will add more paths to the permanent manuals. Thanks for watching, I'll see you guys in the next video.